Living a youthful life at 92 might become an option for some, but the immediate, more prosaic reality lies in maintaining our metabolism. Most of our body tissues stop developing when we reach adulthood. If damaged by accident or disease, can they be restored? In Chicago, scientists at the Institute for Bio-Nanotechnology and Medicine are at work on a radically new approach. Samuel Stoop, the center's director, is employing what he calls molecular signals to help encourage cells to continue growing and to help regenerate lost or damaged tissue. When our bodies are forming, there are many signals that are taking place where cells are being instructed by uh, nanostructures, in fact, outside of the cell to produce certain tissues, to also produce the signals that allow cells to connect with each other and form an organ to form a functional tissue. The idea in nanotechnology is to create nanostructures that are synthetic and they are built and designed to talk to cells as though they were uh, parts of the natural tissue during development. Sam Stoop has designed nanoparticles which self-assemble into nanometric filaments. Those filaments gather up in coils much like collagen, the natural structure that guides the growth of cells to form most of our body's tissues. Ramil Shaw, head of one of the laboratories at the Institute, has studied the behavior of cells when implanted in new and artificial structures. Our natural tissues are made up of collagen fibers, and these fibers are nanofiber structures. A cell can actually um, see a nanofiber, and if it's surrounded by a bunch of nanofibers, it can interact with each individual nanofiber. Usually, cells are signaled in the body through proteins that tell the cell to attach, to migrate, to multiply a number. If we can take those signals that the body naturally gives the cells and put them into these artificial matrices, then we can use that to instruct the cells to do what we wanted them to do. Sam Stoop has modified the particles so that the surface of the filaments is covered with proteins that instruct cells to grow tissues. And the results have been spectacular. It's really neat to see cells really responding to a material because if it's highly bioactive, they thrive, they're very vibrant and alive. And so when you see that, you know, researchers get excited, you know, especially if it's a new material because you know that this has promise. An artificial environment which encourages cells to form specific tissues in vitro is already a great success. But Sam Stoop is looking further ahead. Regenerative medicine technology has to be something that the patient can receive in a doctor's office or in a hospital. It has to be easy to do. So we thought we could create those molecules, put them in a solution, and then just inject them. Inject them in the human body, place them wherever they're needed so that they can promote regeneration. Ramil Shah and her husband Nirav, an orthopedic surgeon, have designed an experiment that regenerates cartilage in rabbits. It is extremely simple. You have a site where cartilage needs to grow again, and at that site, you place uh, the liquid that contains these molecules, and these molecules right at that site build these filaments into some kind of network, and that network is ready to interact with cells. Even sophisticated surgery techniques necessarily produce scar tissue, but experiments with nanoparticle gel enable almost perfect regeneration. 
the results from the rabbit model were very exciting, very promising because we showed that not only did it help regenerate tissue, the cartilage tissue within the defect, but it also preserved the quality of cartilage in the surrounding uh, surface. If we can prove that uh, the results are also very good in larger animal, animal models and that it's also safe, um, then we'll move on to human clinical trials. And so that's sort of down the road, but um, yeah, research is continuing. There have been further tests to explore the regeneration of other body parts, blood vessels, skin, bone and tooth enamel. So far, tests have been positive. What we envision is actually a very broad platform of nanostructures that are chemically designed to signal cells and that can be customized for specific targets in regenerative medicine. Stoop and his colleagues are also attempting to regenerate neurons. In one trial, a paralyzed mouse was able to regain use of its back paws. It's an ambitious project. The rehabilitation of the cells that power the brain and nervous system offers extraordinary promise in the treatment of a range of trauma and disease. It would be great to regenerate new neurons in, for Alzheimer's patients also, or to, to have different ways of dealing with brain injuries. Again, you have to produce new neurons or uh, if not produce new neurons, at least you need to uh, promote branching of neurons that are already there and I guess have been damaged either by trauma or by some disease. To achieve this, the nanoparticles have been customized to self-assemble and to form artificial cells that carry molecular messengers similar to the ones that support the neurons' growth in the brain. and the neurons flourish in this artificial environment. Their extensions grow and spread to make new connections. It's an approach that could have many other applications, but there are still challenges ahead. Some targets are going to be more difficult than others. Um, it, I think cartilage, for example, will happen relatively quickly, or bone. Uh, I think uh, other targets like the brain and, and even the heart uh, might take a little bit more time. But in our bodies, all of the major processes involving cells occur through signaling. And, and the objects that are involved in those signals are, from the standpoint of the nanotechnologists, they are nanostructures. So, in a way, it gives you the idea that uh, we can manipulate the human body in ways that we never thought about before.